Hi everybody, this is Cammy. Don't call me Mary Westall. Um, and it looks like a lot of you have gotten off to a good start with the course, but I just wanted to give you a little more of a um, overview and sort of guide you through some things uh, as we hopefully get off to a good start for this semester. Um, you've already figured out where our content page or our home page is, so um, you know, I'll, around once a week or so, have an announcement up here. So be sure to kind of look at that um, area there, and usually you'll have something that will ding up where this little bell is when there's a new announcement as well. Uh, but like it says here, you should read the syllabus, uh, which those are never the most exciting things to read. I understand. Um, but they are important because we, for you guys to be able to get Pell Grants and financial aid, we have to adhere um, to certain requirements by the Department of Education and our accreditation agency. And so that's um, important explaining why you need this course, which is key for history. I mean, this is who we are as Americans and understanding that past. And also learning outcomes that are expected uh, among you guys. And so for you to be eligible for financial aid and Pell Grants, like I said, the, um, they are holding us accountable to see that you guys, they expect, will be able to communicate uh, more effectively through written assignments here, and thankfully for this class we don't have to worry about meeting mathematical competencies, but develop critical thinking skills, um, use better technology. So uh, there's a section there for anyone needing special um, accommodations for disability. So that information is there. Um, for you to read. We've also got the um, course information, which uh, sort of shows a little bit more of a breakdown of what our four units will be for the course, and so that's there uh, as well. And as we just sort of move forward, we've got um, a quiz that you need to take for all of your classes. So this is another thing that's important by, from the Department of Education is you guys, especially for online classes, um, you are who you say you are. They want to ensure that you're um, uh, declaring that no one else is going to take these tests for you. So be sure to take that syllabus quiz once you read that. Um, and that's also posted under the quizzes tab. But it's seven questions. Really important to take that for um, all of your courses. Um, there's some information here that's more specific for our course, with information on the textbook, um, uh, our test breakdown, um, no late work accepted uh, because assignments are all open for multiple days. We'll talk more about plagiarism as we get to that point, but that's going to be an important thing for online classes and proving that you're doing the work and that you're thinking through it yourself. Um, some optional extra credit at the end which we're going to hope nobody needs that, right? And then email, um, I'll get back to you. It's easy to email me just from <clears throat> the, the class list. All you have to do is click on my name, and uh, it will uh, come straight to me, um, even though it says Mary Westall, and I don't go by that because my parents <laughs> made life inconvenient for me. Um, so we go back there, we've got... Um, a rubric for grading your test and for what to expect for the content discussions and chapters once those come on plagiarism link. Um, some tools here that uh, you may want to look at uh, as chapter guides when um, our internet is being slow. There we go. So chapter guides for the um, some helpful uh, flashcards and note-taking features um, for our book as we go through the courses. Uh, your second, um, oh, I already got one thing, but there's information on a proctored test because your final exam um, and also your second exam must be proctored, so there's information on that. Um, a primary source paper towards the end of the, the semester that we'll talk about later. Um, as well. And then there's a printable if you want to print this out and have it near your usual computer station or just refer to it online here. Um, this has the, the due dates and the dates of availability um, for your assignments here. So hopefully that'll be helpful since uh, for those of you who like to have a 
paper in, in front of you and be able to check those off as, as we go and have a list of dates um, uh, uh, available for you there. So all of those tools um, and, and things are uh, um, available for you to look at under the um, uh, table of contents um, first as you've probably seen in all your classes that getting prepared uh, section and then more um, information for us my um, I just got an email as you probably saw uh, my office hours are there um, and most of those times uh, since it's an online class I'm, I'm gonna be on D2L uh, available for you then so um, you can can reach me if you need to reach me uh, that way as well because my job is to be here for you guys so anytime there are questions um, I tried to put some other resources here as we're going through the chapters. It's hard for history and not having when you can't really uh, you're just trying to imagine what things look like. So there are a few more um, things here as some uh, video tools of what um, that looks really scary there, but this video of what happened with the lost colony at Roanoke and just to try to give you some more audiovisual resources that are there. Um, discussions, a lot of you have already done the intro discussions, I've enjoyed reading those, um, and once you do that, see I've not done it, but if you have done it, you will see that there is a chapter 2 discussion that shows up because you need to do this to complete the, introdu complete the introductory discussion to see your chapter 2 discussion uh, that's there, and again those guidelines just on what to expect so that we're all um, clear on that will be uh, available on that grading rubric for a discussion post. So just kind of saying, okay, 400 words, prove that you read it. You know, if it's 382 words, it's not quite a full credit amount. So um, just doing that there, I want to see that you read the material and that you've thought about the material. Um, your test will be available um, online there. Um, and you'll always, always be able to keep track of your grades. Uh, once it, we're, we get closer to um, the first test, I'll hold a, a study session that you can join. It'll If you, the time doesn't permit for you, you'll be able to watch a link there. Um, but I hope it's just a great um, semester for you guys, and we'll get to learn a lot about who we are as Americans, and go get them. <laughs>